it's still, uh, I shouldn't say it's easier, but uh, we're at a better place now than we were when I came here as a freshman. We were, the, we were at a better place than when I came here as a sister uh, because of the job that, that Rich has done. Um, we're not that far away. You know, we're not that far away. We, we just got to continue the growth of the program. Coach, uh, what, two years ago when you were named the head coach in waiting, did you imagine that you'd be emotional as you are today about this? You never imagined uh, how, how emotional you'll be. I mean, uh, this guy means the world to me. I mean, he does. I mean, he, and, and I, I mean it sincerely when I, when I was asked about, uh, am I getting anxious? No, no, I was not getting anxious. Um, I, I had one of the best jobs in America. Uh, I was able to sit back and uh, I'm in a unique position, first of all. I'm in a unique position in that uh, I am getting the job that I was able to study for for two years. So I'm in a, I'm in a unique position and study from one of the best in the business. Joe, did you think in the '80s when you first started? I was waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be first. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know how you get that seat. A lot of work. Thanks for waiting. Did you think in the '80s this either couldn't? or wouldn't happen? I never thought one way or the other. You know, um, I was just plowing ahead. I was. I was just plowing ahead, trying to be the best assistant. I learned from uh, Bill Curry. Do the best job with the job you got and people will call. And that's all I ever tried to do. Do the best job with, with, with the job that I was given. Uh, and whether it would be the wide receiver coach uh, the recruiting coordinator, the offensive coordinator, and now it's, it's the head coach. I, I have to do the best job at the one that I have. Do you have a follow-up since you were kind enough to wait for me? No. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> African Americans got no opportunities in the 80s. Why were you so optimistic? What did my mom again? Keep <laughs> <laughs> using that word, huh? I know. <laughs> Say your question again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why How many African Americans were optimistic that this day would happen back then? And you're telling me that you were, which is wonderful. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. You know, I just continue to do the job that you have and people will call. And that's what's happened to, to, to Charlie Strong. That's what's happened to, to the Willis Tigers. And, and that's what's happened to me. With all or most of your experience on the offensive side of the football, is it more important than your hire for a defensive coordinator? Well, I mean, the head coach is uh, oversees the, the whole, the total program. And, and I've learned from Rich to, to uh, just make sure you understand the details. And every eye is, is dotted and every T is crossed on all, in all three phases. So um, I will look at the, the, the uh, at the defense. One of the things we want to be is, is the way we have been is, is an attacking defense, a sound defense, and we have been there. Uh, and uh, uh, I have some defensive uh, uh, experience. I was a secondary coach. It's actually how I met Rich. I was. Doing an internship on the on the defensive side of the ball at the Atlanta Falcons, and that's uh, that's how I, I met him. And I always talk about kids about uh, network. You never know, you know, you never know. And I met Rich, and never thought that uh, that we have come in contact ever again until the day he was hired, and I, uh, uh, and I was at my hometown watching a, a, a niece's basketball game and, and heard the announcement, and lo and behold, a couple weeks later, I get called. Joking, I want to 